Hey guys, Ginger on Wheels here. In the last few episodes, you might have seen me use this Threadlocker Red, and that is supposedly permanent Threadlocker. But I want to show you today how you can remove it from your scooter because I suggest you use it on every screw that you can. So I previously had the head break off of this screw and I replaced it with a zinc oxide screw. And after sharing that experience online, I realized I should replace them with uh, stainless steel the entire time. So I bought some stainless steel screws. I'll show you where I got them, monsterbolts.com. And they're M6, one by 18 millimeter. And that's what they look like. They're a socket head, so just an Allen screw on the top. But we're gonna put Threadlocker Red on those and then we're gonna remove these other screws that already have Threadlocker Red on them. Okay, so basically all you do, once you get the screw out of the hole that you got it from, you take it and you get some of your Threadlocker Red, and you just administer a liberal amount on the screw. You want it to cover most of the threads if you can. That's what we're looking at now. And this takes 24 hours to set, so I'm just gonna put it in the hole. Screw it all the way in, nice and tight. I don't know the exact torque specifications for this screw, but very tight. <laughs> and then you wanna let it set for 24 hours. Cool, so that screw, in 24 hours, that will be completely locked into there and there's no way to get it out unless, let me show you how you get them out. Okay, so you might have seen this sitting behind me. This is a digital heat gun, and it's got a bunch of different temperature settings, but you're gonna want the hottest one, because what we wanna do is heat up the area surrounding the screw that has Loctite on it to about 500 degrees Fahrenheit. So this heat gun that I have already has a uh, temperature gauge on the back. I've got it set to around 500. And then all we do is turn it on full blast, and point it at the area with the screw. But you wanna make sure that when you're doing that, nothing plastic is in the area. So like, I've got these shock absorbers and the cable covers, <laughs> Christmas lights. Uh, I wanna make sure that the heat gun isn't pointed anywhere near those. So move those out of the way and point them in a different direction. The heat gun can get pretty close. It doesn't really matter how close it is. But once this gets to 500 degrees, you should be able to turn the Allen screw counterclockwise and just take the screw right out like there isn't thread locker on it. And I did it once already before I started the video because I wanted to be sure it actually worked, but it does. So watch this. All right, so we got the bolt out. I just held the heat gun on there for about two minutes and then used the Allen screw and it just came right out. You can see the thread locker is still on the screw and it works really well. And I know that because it's hard to unscrew even though it's heated to the proper temperature. So uh, we're just gonna go ahead and do all eight of these screws on the front with stainless steel and thread locker on them and we'll be good to go for the next ride. All right, in case you missed my last video telling you where to put these, there's two here. There are two here, and there are also two here by the lights. And when you take these two out, it's a good time to adjust the height of the lights, as once you take the two screws out, this little bracket can actually slide up and down the fork. There's also two screws back around here, and then there's four holding the stem on. I'm choosing to do um, all stainless steel screws, and it's going to be permanent Loctite on the six that are on the fork and then temporary Loctite on these in case I ever want to readjust the handlebars again. In case you're sitting there wondering why I'm going through the trouble of replacing permanently thread locked screws on my fork, this is why. This is the quality of the old screw and this is the quality of the new screw. And given that I already had one of the old screws head snap off, these are going to bend before they snap. So. These are the obvious choice. All right, I just about got done replacing all the screws. Well, I did get done replacing all the screws, except these top four. And you're not gonna believe this. The Turbo Eco Boost button has cracked again. Thought it had felt loose on the last couple of rides, and now I know why. 
if I was really careful not to screw this down all the way and it was still loose. It was to the point where I was like pushing it and it would move a little bit because I didn't want to tighten it down all the way because I was scared to crack it and here it is cracked again. So I don't know what to tell you on that. That's just a bad design. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed my episode of two steps forward, one step back. Um, hopefully you know how to replace the screws in the front of your fork now and I highly suggest you do. And before we quit, don't forget, 